Hi lovelies, my name is Jessica and welcome to Make a Misfit and I'm so excited you guys, the progress that I have been making on these products for my deck of panning project. I am so excited to show you guys everything about this project as always down in the description box. Go check it out if you wanted to know anything because I'm just going to skip right over it and get into this project update. I am very, very excited to show you guys where I'm sitting at. So. First and foremost, we are going to start off with the products that have been in here for the longest as always. Now there are two of those that were rolled over from the previous update to last update and that's what we're going to chat about. So first and foremost was the Queen of Spades which was to represent another project. So of course I decided to go with Color Pan by Misty and for that I chose to roll in the Cream Gel Liner in Sunny Vale. Now my goal for this was to completely finish it. I was using it on the lower lash line just in the outer V and I was really not making progress too quickly on this one. So something kind of sparked an idea and I decided to try using it in my brows. So it's been about a month, maybe just a little bit more than that since I've been doing it and I made progress real quick on this baby. So when I was actually doing my brows tomorrow or this morning, I was having a hard time, Every, it like the product was gone, it hit the flush of the packaging. I thought I was done with this. Just before I sat down, I decided to try and twist it even though like it would twist or like I turned it as far as I could. I decided to give it just a little bit of pressure and it started to twist and there was more product in here. And the bottom just broke. <laughs> I put it back together. But there was actually more product in here. So I really don't know what is left in here, but I am going to keep this in. I was really excited to roll it out, finally have it out of my collection, but as you can see, there is at least a little bit more. I feel like I can still twist it past this, even though it kind of like clicks now when I roll it or when I twist it, uh, but product keeps coming up. So there may be this much, there may be more than that, but I will keep it in. I do want to completely finish it before I roll it out of this project. So this one will be staying in even though I thought I was going to be rolling it out, but I'm okay with that because I do want to, like I said, get rid of this completely. I don't want to toss it out while I still have some product in there. I can still use it in my brows. We're still good for that. So this one will be staying in. So next I rolled in the 10 of hearts, which was an out of control category. And for myself, I chose blush as this category and I decided to use the benefit Coralista blush. Now I've had this blush for a long time. I think I mentioned it before, but it came in the like cheek star palettes that Benefit came out with. And I believe it came in the original one. So my goal was to finish off that blush. Guys, I did it. I am so excited about it. This was very bittersweet because I really, really did love this blush. I liked the tone of it. I liked the color of it. I love the peachy tones. And I really enjoyed pairing it with Papa Don't Peach by Too Faced just to blend the other one out or to tone it down a little bit if I was feeling it. I really, really enjoyed using this blush. It was thinning out quite evenly, which was kind of nice as well. And using it up is bittersweet, but I am very happy because it's one less blush in my collection. And I definitely would like to repurchase something similar if I don't already have, but I'm sure I could find something in my collection that is close enough. For now. So this one will be rolled out of my collection, which means I get to roll something else in place of it later. So last update, I had rolled in three brand new products. So we're going to chat about those next. Um, I don't know which order they were rolled into, but it doesn't really matter. I rolled in the two of spades, which was a duo or a multi-chrome product. So for this one, I decided to go with an eyeshadow because that's pretty much all that I have that's duo or multi-chrome. But I went with my... Cleona Cosmetics Sunbeam Eyeshadow. Now, I don't know if you're really going to be able to see, but right at the top here, it's not really focusing very well, plus it matches my nails. It has been crumbling, so it kind of did break off, and there was little chunks kind of all over my palette. There is a slight dip in the center of the pan because this eyeshadow is a little bit more raised over the actual pan. So you can tell a little bit of a difference. When I rub my finger over it, I can feel just a very, very slight dip. But I feel like I am going to keep this into the project just one more month. 
Whether I use it two or three more times or more or less, I will roll this out next update. I do just want to see what kind of progress I can make on it over the next few weeks. Um, I do think it may be like two or three more uses. I really don't see myself using it too much more than that. But we'll have to see. There's still some time. Um, but because there is a slight dip, I do feel like rolling it out next month, I will be more than okay with that. I will be good enough with that dip. I don't want to create too much of a dip in here because I do like the shadow and I want to like not use it up right away or, or hit pan in it right away. So I just want a small little thing, but I'll keep it in one, one more month and we'll see where we're sitting at next, next update. So I also rolled in the four of hearts, which was a brand that you own the most of. So I had gone through my collection very quickly, but I noticed that I had owned pretty much quite a few products from like the same amount of products from quite a few brands. So I just randomly chose one brand and I chose NARS and I went with the mini deep throat blush from NARS. Now my goal is to hit pan in here and I have used it a few times. I'm wearing it today, but not enough to hit pan quite yet. I do feel like this is going to be in here for a little bit longer, but I'm okay with that. I really do like this blush and I'm totally cool with wearing it over the end of summer into fall time. And even if it goes into fall and winter time, I'm okay with that because I really do enjoy this blush. Um, so I'm okay. I'm happy that it's still sticking around for now. And then the last thing that I had rolled in was the Jack of Hearts, which was your whole collection project pan. Now I did mine a little bit differently, but I ended up choosing a single eyeshadow and the single eyeshadow I chose was from Natasha Denona. Now these ones, the one that I chose uh, came as like a promo code off Sephora and my goal was just to hit pan in it. And I sure did that. This is where it's sitting at. So if you had seen one of my panels eyeshadow updates from a few months ago, I had rolled in a shade just like this, except it was gold um, from Natasha Denona, same thing. And I had hit pan on that in three uses from brand new. This one was also brand new, but it did take more than three, not that much more, but because three is such a low number, it was technically like double the amount or so. I think it took six or seven tries before I actually hit pan in it. And then I continued to use it just a little bit more just to expand what was already showing. So I'm happy with where this is sitting for now. I would like to eventually finish off this eyeshadow, but I'm not, I'm not in a rush for that at the moment. I'm happy with just having a little bit of pan in here. So that means that I am rolling out two products. And I'm keeping three. I'm keeping the creme gel liner. I'm keeping the NARS blush. And I'm also keeping the Cleona eyeshadow. So I get to roll in two brand new cards. I have everything here. I shuffled a little bit, but I am going to shuffle a little bit more just to show you guys on camera. And we are going to see what I will be rolling in. So I do have the game board. So I will post that up for you to see as well. We're going to do a quick shuffle as everything just falls the other way. I do think I have both jokers in here as well because I didn't feel like going through and taking the other one out. So we shall see what I end up getting. I've already had it twice. So I'm not talking about it anymore. We're not throwing that energy out there. Let's see. We'll shuffle a few more times and then I will choose my two cards. I wish, I wish shuffling cards was a little more exciting. Okay. Last go round. And grab from the bottom and shuffle. Okay. So my next two cards are going to be the Seven of Diamonds and the Ace of Hearts. So let's see. The Seven of Diamonds is, oh, a pattern. That's, okay. Let me see. And then the Ace of Hearts is pick your space. Ooh, that's exciting. I never, I haven't had any of these like fun prompts that you can kind of like do what you want with. So let me take a peek and see what I want to do. Um, oh, what do I want? Matches eye color. Something that already has pan. Um, my astrology sign. Vacation or travel, glittery. These 
these are kind of the ones that are just indie oh what could i oh you know what i'm gonna go with that one i'm gonna go with the two of spades which is indie and when I show you guys what the product is and explain to you why, you will understand. So, the seven of diamonds was, where are we here? It was pattern. So, I'm going to go choose a product for that. I'm going to go get the other product that I want to work on for Indie and I will be right back. Okay, so I have my two products here. So first we're gonna start off with the Seven of Diamonds, which was pattern. So I had to double check and this was to wear away a pattern, like the embossment on the product. So another ColourPop product is coming into this project. This is a blush called Tearing Up My Heart. It's a pressed powder blush and it is a very neutral color. It does have a little bit of a peachy tone to it, but it's very, very like, neutral ish so I feel like I could really get a lot of use on this so of course my goal is to wear away the embossment on here and I do feel like it's going to be somewhat easy I don't know how deep the embossment is but if I'm able to use this very consistently or pretty close to consistent I feel like it will only take a few months to to wear away that embossment we'll have to see but that's what I'm going with for this prompt and then for the prompt ace of hearts so that was to choose your own space and i went with let me pull it up here i went with the two of spades which is indie so i'm going with a give me glow eyeshadow now i have the shade party monster and my goal is to completely finish this off and let me show you why so this is where this product is sitting at right now this was brand new and this shade just shattered on me. I had repressed it together. I think it was my pan those eyeshadows. If you saw my last update, you'll see that when I went to go open up my uh, palette of singles, this shade again kind of broke and shattered within the actual palette itself. So it went all over the place. I tried to press it back together and I think a third time it broke and shattered all over the floor. So this is all that's left. So it really is just the very bottom of the pan. So I just wanna finish this off because I really did like this shade. I've only been able to use it a couple of times. You can see there's a couple brush strokes in there. So I do just wanna get used out of this and finish it off as much as I can. There really isn't going to be a lot of use. It's a very thin amount of product at the bottom of this pan, but it's enough for me to completely use it up and just get that out of my collection because there's no point in me holding on to it. I do want to use it and I figured this would be a good prompt to pull this product into. I did want to put it into a project some way. So the fact that I got to choose my own space and I could choose the brand or the, the prompt indie, this just fits so well. So this is what I'm choosing for that one. So those are the products that I will be working on for the next few weeks. I'm really hoping that I can actually roll this one out next update. Like I said, I have no idea how much is actually left in here. I thought this finished off this morning, but apparently it did not. So we will be working on this one for a little bit longer. The NARS Deep Throat Blush will probably be in here for a few more months. I do have my Cleona eyeshadow, which will be in here for one more month. That will be rolled out next month. Then the two new ones is this ColourPop blush, which I feel will be in here for a little bit, but I feel like I'm going to enjoy this blush. I haven't used it yet, so we'll see how I feel about it. And then finishing off this eyeshadow. This may be in here for longer than a month, even though I know that it's not gonna take me too long. I don't know how often I'm actually going to wear that at the moment because I have so many other eyeshadows that I need to work on. So we'll just see how the next few weeks go. I'm excited to show you guys the progress in the next update. So stay tuned if you're interested as well. Go check out the playlist for this. I have my own down there plus the community playlist. So if you want to binge watch this, there's tons of content to go and binge watch. And that is everything. I will thank you guys and I will see you guys all later. Bye.